What's up guys? So today I got in some subtraxels for Solomons and we're just gonna give them a go and try them out. So maybe this will be fun. Oh, well, that was pretty fun. Uh, subtract souls. Where do I start? They made Solomon skatable. <laughs> plain and simple. I actually have a groove that I can ride on and not have to grind directly onto the boot, which is awesome. They're UHMW, so they slide great. Um, they have a decent price point. Uh, their website shows around 160 but that's not in US currency. Whenever it actually gets transferred to US currency after the plate cost, shipping and tax and everything, I wanna say I paid around $115, $120, which for a good quality UHMW sole plate, it's not bad at all, Even especially even with the import. Uh, and they got them out to me actually really fast. It was less than two weeks after I ordered that they showed up at my doorstep, so that's, definitely cool their quality they're, they're nice they don't make the boots look huge and bulky which i know a lot of solomon guys uh one of the main attractions to the solomons is how small the boot actually feels how slim the boot feels they still feel very very slim uh, these are actually about a half size too small for me i think at one point i stretched the toe just a little bit but after about an hour and a half of skating these were my toes were crammed in there, guys. Um, but yeah, um, I don't normally like to skate things like this, uh, skates these old on a regular basis or like in any capacity for street just because it's such an old boot. I would hate for it to just explode on my foot. And really, these are just nostalgic for me. Uh, I know there are a lot of guys out there skating Solomon still, and maybe there's something to that. I mean, Julian Cadeau absolutely murders in these things. So they're quality skates. I think whatever kind of flexi material this is holds up better than some of the, the older stiffer skates. The plastic doesn't seem as brittle. Uh, I'm still not a fan of trying to do it full time. But if you're a diehard Solomon guy and you haven't tried these sole plates, I I'm going to recommend them. It just makes things very easy. I know a lot of guys like to modify like uh, symmetric soles onto Solomons or any flat bottom soles by cutting the nubs off of the Solomons. Well, it hurts my heart a little bit to see a 20 year old skate get chopped up. One of the cool things about this company is that they actually cut in for all the nubs to where there's no modification needed whatsoever. You, you literally just take the old sole plates off they even send you uh, new hardware, because if you have messed with Solomon's, you know that hardware is extremely soft and easy to strip. So yeah, they send you all new hardware, fantastic, easy install, just good fun sole plates. So yeah, I had fun. I'm gonna leave them on my Solomon's and maybe I'll pull them out every now and then and play with them. Uh, Solomon's are a little too flexy <laughs> for me to wanna call them daily drivers. For, and you know among other things but i got a soft spot for them they're fun skates um 
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, give it a like. Uh, maybe consider subscribing, sharing it with your friends. Got a lot of stuff planned. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs>